Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Get Your Garlic On Show. I'm your host, Sherry Kazawi, and today I'm going to be making my famous spinach salad with tarragon dressing. And the show is based really all about getting back to nature and monkey food, food that is natural for you to eat. And I'm also going to be making an amazing meatloaf in this new science project. It's a pressure cooker oven. Now I have never tried one of these before, so we're gonna be experimenting together as mad scientists and it's gonna be really fun. So the first thing I do when I make my salad dressing is I get a glass jar, because at the end you're gonna wanna shake it up, the oil and everything that's in there. I've got about seven to eight cloves of fresh garlic, and I want to insist that you use fresh garlic. I'm gonna use safflower oil and a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna fill up this jar about halfway. Here's olive. You want to use a little bit of a light oil with this dressing. Now I'm going to put in about a half a cup of vinegar, and it could be apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, but I always like to put a splash of balsamic vinegar in there too. A little bit of color and taste. And this is tarragon. Tarragon is an amazing herb and it has a little bit of a licorice bite. This is a good tablespoon. I'm going to do the whole thing. This is wow. About two tablespoons just went in that jar. A quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt. Put the lid on and you shake it. All right, and now you let that sit and just let the flavors marry. Then we're going to take a bowl. I prefer wooden bowls, but word of advice, don't put a wooden bowl in your refrigerator overnight because the wood will expand and it may crack if there's moisture in it. I'm taking my baby spinach. My monkey food baby spinach that my monkey loves. And I've got fresh chopped scallions. I toasted raw almonds, and we're just gonna take a nice big handful and sprinkle it over that salad. And then I have cranberries for that sweet. Now I'm gonna shake that vinaigrette up, and we're gonna put it on the salad. Mmm, there's a couple of big fat chunks of garlic in there. Oops. <laughs> and it smells so good right now. The tarragon, the garlic, and the oil, a little bit of scallions. Oh my gosh. And, of course, we have to taste it. I hope you're not jealous. So it's sweet and it's savory. And the tarragon has almost a little bit of a licorice bite to it, and it's unexpected. So when you bring this to a party, people are always gonna say, how do you make your salad dressing? So you just tell them to get the recipe from the Get Your Garlic On Show cookbook with your host, Sherry Gazelle. That's a good idea! All right, thank you. Now I'm going to make a fantabulous mystery meatloaf. Ah. And first I'm gonna start channeling my ingredients. Okay, we're gonna start with one pound of ground beef and it's grass-fed beef, two large eggs, raw eggs. And you know what, I'm gonna twist everything around a little bit and we're gonna go gluten-free because it's a little bit easier on your digestive tract. If you stay away from wheat and yeast products, it's a lot easier to digest. And you can go to any market now and get gluten-free products. So I got gluten-free gluten -free crackers, and we're gonna smash them in a plastic bag, or I'm gonna throw them on the ground and stomp on them. <laughs> it's really fun. 
right about there. One half cup crackers, one fourth cup of barbecue sauce, one fourth cup of ketchup. And you're gonna think it's really strange, but I am gonna put some coconut oil in the meatloaf because it's really good for brain function. What? And you're like, what's that all about? Well, coconut oil, avocado oil, all the um, omega-3 oils are good for brain function. Even though they say we have to have everything fat-free, we still want to have good, healthy brains as we age, right? One medium-sized onion. I decided to put a little celery in mine because I like celery and meatloaf. And this is about a quarter of a cup of pineapple. And of course, the main ingredient, the most important ingredient is a whole bunch of chopped garlic. Okay. It looks like about nine cloves because I am crazy with the garlic. And I'm gonna get my hands in there because I was a ceramic major in the day. When I went to school, I was an art major. Now I'm an art therapist and I work in a prison with very, very bad boys. But the wow. art helps to rehabilitate people to get them to really understand the subconscious symbolism that comes out of their art. Wow. So as I'm mixing up this sculptural fun material that we're making today, it's all ooey and gooey. It feels really good. It makes me want to make some kind of great monument. <laughs> I have to go wash my hands. We're gonna put the meatloaf in the pan. Slide it in there. Pat it down. What I'm gonna do to make it look pretty is put a drop of barbecue sauce on top. Oh my God. Just a little bit. And a little bit of ketchup. Because I'm an artist and I have to make everything all fun and pretty. Isn't that fun? So now we're going to go ahead and put this in the pressure cooker oven and see what happens. This is something I've never done before, so we're both going to experience this oven together and I hope it does not explode. So we put the, the lock on, we put it on bake on 350, and this is on seal. And we're going to put it on for 50 minutes. Okay, here we go. It's going to make that pop sound. It's going to expand and then it's going to go pop in a minute. I just don't know when. <laughs> Thing is, is that I know, I know it's going to pop because it did earlier. It is on big. It'll make it, you know, I'll just crank up the heat. What, ha what happens is it's going to seal in all the moisture and all the flavors are going to infuse with each other in the heat. It's going to pop. The oven's going to expand. It's going to go pop. It's the freakiest thing ever. You know, that's what happened when I tried to dry out some sage early. <gasps> I didn't put my sage in. Oh, I was supposed well. to put my sage in. Whatever. Okay, so now what I want to talk to you about is gluten-free alcoholic beverages. The only thing that is considered gluten-free is sake and tequila. So basically, you know, sake is really fun. You can drink it cold and you can drink it hot. As far as tequila goes, there's all different kinds of brands of tequila and it's really fun with different types of juices or lime or just all by itself. It's, um, it goes with the margarita mix, the, the, you know, the whole ole, 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 tequila, the little clicky clacky things. Castanets. Castanets. That's right. And you know what? You're supposed to actually have your fingers a certain way so I think your pinky sticks out like you're drinking tea in London. Or is it like that? No, it's like this. Seriously, I think when I was in kindergarten, I was in some dance where we had real castanets and we were like this. That's your two fingers have to stick out and then you like do the spinny thing and all that.
Waiting. You didn't think. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, I'm scared to even touch it, seriously. I don't know, I think I should put a glove on. Okay. All right, I'm gonna turn this to vent. <laughs> that was a little freaky. All right, hold on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like use these. And just make sure everything's okay. And then we're supposed to release that. Look at all that steam. Okay. Wow. This is not a toy. Are you paying attention? This is not a toy. You have to be a serious cook to deal with this. And I don't want you messing with this, and I don't think there should be kids around. No, this is like not a child thing, okay? This is not childproof. So, yeah, get a set of these and get a set of these. And you definitely need tongs because this is scary. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to let it cool down and, and just relax for a second, okay? With my gluten free beverage. Let's toast, gluten free producer. <laughs> Voila. Does that look scrumptious or what? Oh, okay. Now we're going to taste this amazing meatloaf. Oh my gosh. Are you all waiting in TV land? Okay, I'm like really hungry, that's why I have a big fork. But I have to cool it down because I don't want to like be in a lot of pain. This is I don't know if I'm allowed to swear on TV, but it's like freaking good. It is so good. The barbecue sauce, the pineapple, it's super, super moist. So you know what? That oven keeps all the moisture in, and that was, that was definitely awesome. If you make this for your friends, seriously, they'll be coming back all the time. So think about that before you invite people over to eat this. Mm. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the Get Your Garlic On show. And remember to love everything that you do when you're cooking. Happy cooking. Bye, everyone. How could everything taste so good with garlic? Wow. What do you think, little monkey? Want a bite? Mm. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Was that a good show or what? Yeah. <laughs>